Welcome to the Green Wasp Removal YouTube channel. In this episode, we show you how we do a trap out of an invasive German yellow jacket queen as she was trying to set up a nest inside a small hole she had found on the exterior window frame of a building where we had just completed a bee removal job. June 7th, 2023. And we're gonna do a wasp removal today. We've seen in the hole of this window frame a queen yellow jacket coming and going. So she's setting up a nest in there, probably has some larva, maybe some pupa already developed in her nest, somewhere in that hollowed out window frame or possibly in a cavity somewhere accessible from that frame. So we're gonna to try to capture the queen today and put a stop to her activities here. If she is native, then we'll go ahead and relocate her if she's invasive, then we'll just put her into captivity. So we're rigging up another container that will go up like this. So we're going to put a little drop of honey here. Just drizzle it in a little bit right here. Just enough to maybe get her attention. That drip down there pretty good. And then we're going to attach it back up here. So now you have a little bit of honey for her to come out and get. It'll be right there as soon as she exits. So maybe she'll respond to that pretty quickly. We'll see. Now we wait. She just came out briefly flew around the container and went back in the hole. So as the sun on the west side here starts to heat up in the afternoon, that usually signals them the temperature rise and so forth to come out and forage. So hopefully we'll see her come out again here in a minute. Next time she comes out, we're just gonna slip this piece of cardboard right in behind the tape and cover the hole. That'll trap her in the container. Then we'll take this other piece of cardboard, put it over the whole container and detach it, and then put her into a contained jar. So here's our queen, we have her captured in the temporary container. Now we're going to move her into the sealed jar. But it's nice to finally see her. It took us a little while, but persistence pays. So we've got the transfer done. Now she's contained. Now we can go take a look at her, get some good close-up imagery. And, uh, see what species we're dealing with here. So the black markings on her back called the gastral patterns, these markings show that she's a German yellow jacket that's invasive here in the States. So because this was a queen and she had not actually started a full nest yet, there were no other wasps involved. So we just covered up the hole with duct tape so nothing else could get in there. This is always just a temporary solution as we notify the client that she's gonna to need to permanently seal up that whole side of the property. Here we have our Queen Germanica taken out of a client's building. She was a queen trying to set up a nest inside a wall space there. We found her while we were doing a bee removal for that client. So we're going to put her into captivity here in the research lab. She has her own house here all set up and ready to go. It's got some honey and some water for her. So we're just going to set her in there, let her come out and start to get acclimated and whenever she settles down we'll take that jar back out but for now we're just going to let her get settled in 
So when we find invasive queens in the field, typically what we'll do is bring them into captivity so that they're not out there competing with all of our native wasps, especially if they haven't created a real nest yet and they're on their own. This allows us a chance to really study the wasps up close, watch their behaviors. Sometimes we can entice them into building a nest and we can watch that happen in captivity. For example, what you see here on the right side of the other habitat is a nest being constructed by another invasive species, the Polistes dominula, or the European paper wasp. We often will have some type of nest in captivity during the season to just document the growth of the nest and how well they do in captivity. And down below we have some long-term dominula who've been with us for almost a year now. Due to their natural lifespans and their behaviors, we found that yellow jackets take the captivity pretty well, but their lifespan is shorter, just a matter of weeks, whereas the Polistes wasps, the paper wasps you see in other habitats surrounding this one, they can last for up to a year at a time we've had them. Her first order of business is to see if she can escape. She's checking all of the potential exits here and checking the strength of the habitat material to see if she can chew her way out. And eventually she'll figure out that that's not possible and she'll settle down and become accustomed to her habitat. She'll eat her honey, she'll drink the water, and she'll start to relax and settle in. But for now, she's still in uh, attempted escape mode. You can see her here trying to chew her way out of the habitat, which she'll eventually understand is futile. You can see her here exploring the habitat. Once they start to calm down and relax and stop trying to escape, they begin to get acclimated. And once they find the food and the water, they start to settle into more of a routine. But they're always active. Yellow jackets are almost always on the move compared to Polistes, paper wasps. Here she goes. Now she's found the honey and she's gonna give herself a little energy, fuel up here a little bit. She'll eat for a long time because she's gotta be hungry and thirsty. This is regular pure honey just bought at the grocery store. Here's water in the other dish. Wasps exist as adults on sweet carbohydrate fluids. And she'll begin to orient herself through orientation flights. Once she fuels up here, she'll start making rounds around the habitat, getting familiar with the airspace inside of it. She's taking a good long drink of honey because she probably hasn't eaten in quite a while. And when she's done there, hopefully she'll get herself a drink of water from the other dish. So we use honey to simulate the sweet nectar that they would collect out in the wild on flowers and whatnot. And of course they feed insect protein to their young. There she goes. All done cleaning up. And then she'll start taking some orientation flights probably now that she's all fueled up but hopefully getting some food and water will help her understand life is gonna be okay here. Note how good she is at navigating her space. Even though she's brand new to this habitat, 
she's quite easily adapting to the limited airspace and getting her way around in the air without bouncing crazily around this habitat. She's really, really good at that. She feels out by tapping the glass where her limitations are for airspace and she adapts her flight to that. And she'll go through every single inch of this habitat to begin to orient herself properly to this space. And now that she's zeroed in on where the food and water is, she'll be just fine. So if you're interested in setting up wasp habitats this season for any wasps you might capture in the wild, there's some other videos on our YouTube channel that'll walk you through how to do that. We typically only put invasive species in captivity these days, but really any wasp is pretty fascinating to watch up close. June 9th, 2023. Mama German wasp, Vespula germanica, staying busy, getting some exercise, navigating her limited airspace very well. That's it for today's episode. As always, thanks for riding along with us. If you're interested in more of these videos, please like, share, subscribe, comment, and we'll see you on the next one. Have a good one.